Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Skipper Surf Review. I'm driving to Brooklyn. Well, actually I'm in Brooklyn now. It's a different part of Brooklyn. Uh, and I want to pick up a demo board for tomorrow's session. When I'm gonna have some waves tomorrow. It's gonna be two foot at seven seconds. So very tiny swell, but I'll take it. We, we didn't have waves for a week and it has been flat. So anything out there that's surfable, starting from half a foot and up i'll take it now and um, i'll meet up with van he is the founder of go surf basis account uh, they help you to accelerate your surfing surf progression you know give you tips how to improve your surfing and apply it to your technique so very helpful and they also have a podcast so yeah check them out i will leave the link description below to the account and uh, he's gonna give me a demo board uh, what happened he uh, reached out to me and asked me the other day hey do you want to buy this board I'm selling it it's too big for me and I'm like well what this board is and he sent me a picture and I realized that this is the board that I always wanted to try but I never had a chance to purchase because I saw them on Craigslist and they were too big starting from 5.8 or 6.0 and I never had a chance to get the smaller one. So Van has this board in size 5.6 and I believe he mentioned it has 34-35 liters of volume. It was custom shaped. So the coolest thing about this board is that this is like a small wave board. It's, you know, it has online 99 pages, page of thread and people saying that this is like the best board ever made for small waves. And I know that one of my followers kept texting me before that you should try this board. You will be blown away uh, how good it is. So we'll see tomorrow and uh, let's see the board in a second. Hey, what's Mr. Up? Van. How's it going? What? Good. How are you? I'm good, man. All thank right. you. Welcome in. Wow, what a nice place. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow, that's I, pretty I, sick. I'm pretty lucky I, I got this place like 15, 16 years ago. So I have too many surfboards as you can see. They're, <laughs> They're all they're hidden. Everywhere, so. They're hidden everywhere. <laughs> I know. Just got them tucked away in every single corner of the house. <laughs> Wait. Right. I'm running out of space to put them. I got it. They're in here. I got them over there. Got them there. I also wow. got it in my board bag. Oh my uh, god. Right they're, board, they're boards too? Yeah, I'm going. I'm leaving uh, on a trip in, uh, in about a week. Wow. Yeah, Where so are you going to? I'm going to Central America. Oh, get nice. Some purple points. I'm excited. Yeah. Salvador? Yeah. Okay. That's my favorite place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then got the yeah. I used Whoa! To, uh, wow. I used to like be pretty in the climbing. I mean, uh, and I would use that to train. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what level were you? Mm, like in I when you were pretty, like in good shape? Like a, I did some pretty gnarly stuff. We do D nine. I was less a boulder. I was like more of a alpine climber. So I uh -huh. climbed like the nose in El Capitan. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've, you know, it's like the biggest piece of rock in Yosemite. It's like. 3,000 feet, it took me five days to climb it. It was pretty nuts. So it's a little bit below the Alex Honnold's level. Just a little bit. Oh, just he a little bit. It, I did it with ropes. I did it with ropes, he did not do it with ropes. So that's a, that's a big difference. All right, this is like intense. It took him a couple hours to do it. It took us five days to do it. So that's a very different situation. Yeah, it's a very different think... situation. Yeah. All right, um, so what we have here. Yeah, so this is a crazy, crazy groveler. Uh, this is the Von Sol Flying Manta. This thing is, so it's based on a Mini Simmons design, basically. Mm -hmm. So you can see, I added the pointy nose because like, I just wanted it to look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But it's like super parallel rail lines, huge tail. Mm -hmm. And so this thing goes so fast. And then what's interesting about it though is that the, the tails, uh, the rails are actually pretty pinched. So mm -hmm. these are like knifey, these are wow, even knifier than yeah. a shortboard rail, mm -hmm. you know? This one, um, like, look at how thin it is going. Yeah, exactly. So you get, you have like a lot of surface area to push off of, but then the rails hold. Mm -hmm. And you kind of have like an edge all the way through here. Mm -hmm. um, 
the one thing about this guy is that you have to uh, really get your foot all the way back mm -hmm. because the tail, so if you notice, not only is the tail really wide, mm -hmm. the fins are really shifted forward as well. So, you know, the further your fins are back, the more drive you're gonna have. Mm -hmm. The further they're shifted forward, the looser it's gonna be. So these, these, this is a very, very loose board. So oftentimes I would ride it with bigger fins just mm -hmm. because it felt too loose. So what was your favorite setup in terms of the fins? I would quad. do, I would do quad mm -hmm. and then I would actually put in, uh, you know, like a, so you could put a little nupster, but mm -hmm. actually what I did was I would actually put in a, uh, a trailer from a twin plus one. Oh yeah, yeah, I have one. Just mm -hmm. to add in a little bit more control mm -hmm. here. You you can feel it out. Mm -hmm. You're probably a little bit heavier than me. Mm -hmm. So you might be fine. Mm -hmm. But if you start to feel like it's out of control, try and put like a bigger trailer in here. Mm -hmm. You can try to put a bigger trailer in there. Wow. Uh, the reason why I got this is I wanted something that would make surfing, you know how it here, one to two foot. Like when it's like tiny and like it's absolute crap, that's what I got this for. Mm -hmm. And so it can work in that, that's why I got this. But when you try and do a turn, for me anyway, mm -hmm. I, I just struggle a little bit with the tail because it's so wide, it's mm -hmm. a little bit wide. But Were you on the Twin Twins before you got this board? Oh, have no, you no. surfed Twins before? Um, I've surfed Twins, twins. I, have a, I had a Twin, but mm -hmm. Twins are tricky boards to mm -hmm. ride too, mm -hmm. you know, because they're super loose. Mm -hmm. I, I'm actually somebody that likes a little bit more drive. Mm -hmm. I'm actually like, back to riding just regular thrusters now. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I like to have more of the control, mm -hmm. um, but. The confidence, right? You know, like. Yeah, exactly. Like, the I, the I've turn. had twins where I'm just like, sometimes it feels like the best board in the world yeah. and sometimes it just slides out and I can't even, yeah. I don't even uh -huh. know why I slid out, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of one of those boards, you know, so. <laughs> Interesting, I'm, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be challenging to try it. Well, you've been riding like a lot of like. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of, you know, been riding a lot of twins and. Um, yeah. So this board is probably going to be fine for you. You're probably going to be able to surf it fine, right? Because you're used also, to Also, I have a Davis Sky Skiff that's, you know, kind of skatey sometimes, yeah. and yeah. it's very loose. So yeah. it, you definitely like have to be like really light on your feet to right, turn. Right, right, right. If you push a little too hard, sometimes it gets sliding. Yeah, yeah. So especially when it gets a little size. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, we'll see tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow is going to be probably perfect one too. Yeah, this would be a fun, fun board for that. What are the exact dimensions? It's a five six by. I think it's five six or five seven by like twenty one. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's like twenty one and a half, maybe mm -hmm. even wider, and then uh -huh. maybe like maybe two and a half, two and maybe two and a half. This board is going to be really fun if it's really small. So, but honestly, I haven't even been riding that too much. It's mm -hmm. like I've just I don't know. I've, you know, you sometimes get lazy, but yeah, I. Recently, I've only I've been super busy with like work and stuff, so I've only been really going to surf when it's like pumping, pumping, yeah, and then uh -huh. I, I don't ride those boards. Mm -hmm. Do but, you surf here when it's like one foot, like very weak, like tomorrow? Yeah, I, or you usually I don't should. Want. I uh -huh. should. Sometimes I will. Uh huh. But more often, I'll go just I'll just wait when it's like pumping. I mean, you live close to the you live relatively. You're like close, twenty right? minutes away now. Yeah. You still live in like that's a lot close. I'm I'm forty five minutes, yeah, probably to an hour, mm -hmm. depending on traffic. Mm -hmm. So for me, I mean, cool. I should, mm -hmm. but I'm just, I have, I'm super busy with stuff, so. Yeah. yeah, maybe I would do the same if I was living like an hour away or something with traffic, yeah. Yeah. you know, going tomorrow, yeah. maybe a little bit like, do I really want to yeah. just go do surf skating and stuff like that? Right, right. 20 <laughs> minutes is, 20 <laughs> minutes is uh, not too bad. It, it's doable, yeah. yeah it's 20 a, minutes is like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's nothing. That's well, you imagine I used to live like two blocks away. Yeah, and I, know, just, like, I know, I know. Walk over, bike yeah. over, and then in two minutes I was already by the Yeah, beach. that's that's way too easy, man. <laughs> way too easy. Yeah. Wow, I'm excited. I'll try it tomorrow. The poor back. Hey guys, so just got to Rockaway and the waves are so small, barely one foot wave out there, but it has potential. So we'll see if this board will work today. Um, one foot Rockaway, I'm gonna set up the fins. So what we have here, so I'm gonna put Probably MR Twin and me. 
maybe this trailer or that trailer. This one is bigger. And then I have some carver. This is big. Maybe I'll just put this set from Machada Thruster and that might work. Hey guys, so just got out of the water, tested this flying manta shaped by Sean Madison long sole surfboards. And I do like the board, it, it does gravel amazing. I mean, I didn't have any issues catching waves. However, the performance is a little bit different than I used to. Uh, so I get used to this board a lot, skiff by Davis Sky Surfboard, so it's very nimble, loose, and can turn whenever I want it to. Uh, it's also the twin, so I cannot really compare both boards, because this one is a quad. There's no way to use it as a twin, because it's going to be too loose. Uh, you see the fin boxes, they like pushed way up forward. So I use it as a quad. Um, maybe if I play with different setups, like put my Chada quad set, basically semi kills plus side bites, small tiny side bites, it would loosen up a little bit and still have a little hold. Um, and then I can turn much faster this board in a small tiny wave. But down the line, it worked great. I mean, I was just like gliding down the line and uh, you know could do some quick turns when I had a little bit face. Uh, but when it's very tiny, it just, there's no way I can turn it quickly as this skip. So if you're looking for some graveler uh, and you just want to go down the line more like, you know, focus on the length of the wave versus like turnability, unless you surf like a mushy two, three foot waves in California or uh, somewhere else, then you'll be fine. This board, great. You know, it just has like enough float, paddling speed, it's a PS form. So it's super light. It's it's like twice almost lighter than the skiff um, and uh, yeah it's it's great i would say uh, but it's just for someone who just you know wants to have a little bit more hold down the line when you go and uh, 
yeah, you just want to score or a lot of waves that way. And and also if you can if you you can push this board in a bigger swell um, because it definitely feels like it holds. Like once you take off, it doesn't feel like very responsive, and that you might like. So I get used to this board because it's just as soon as I take off, I can do whatever I want to. Like I can really quickly redirect the board. Uh, but the, with this one, I think I, if I take it out on a four foot, even six foot day, it will still hold it nicely because it still has a little bit more rocker. It's not that flat. So if you look at the deck, it still has a little tiny kick. So will definitely be more versatile in terms of like uh, conditions. So yeah, I think it would be a re really good port purchase for someone who wants to have some growler board for himself, start with something like very wide. And guys, if you want to see any other growlers, uh, comment down below which ones you're interested in and uh, if you have one, what you like about it and which one you have. And also you can reach out to Van, he is selling this board. Uh, I don't know exact price, but I think he mentioned around $500, so which is it's a good deal for this board. You can negotiate, so I'll leave his contact information down below. Uh, and guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel. This helps this channel to grow. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And I'll see you soon. Bye.